in this lecture let us discuss about boundary value analysis which is a testing technique used to identify errors at the boundaries of the input ranges so it mainly focus on the values at the edges of the input ranges in order to find out errors which often occur at the boundaries and the core idea is that software is more likely to fail at the edges of the input limits rather than in the middle of the range so if you focus more on these boundaries then testers they can create effective test cases that ensure thorough coverage and robustness so here the testers they can uh, effectively identify potential defects that may not be evident when inputs are within the range so here we have few important things that is first is a boundary value so here boundary values can be a minimum valid value or maximum valid value so if you take the invalid side values just above the maximum and values below the maximum so they are they comes under the invalid part coming to the test cases so typically these test cases they are derived from the boundaries creating test cases that occur so what are the things here the minimum and maximum valid inputs values that lie just outside the boundaries so we need to find out few steps for conducting the boundary value analysis here the first one is first you need to identify the input variable so here determine which inputs have defined ranges in this step next in second step define the valid range so specify the acceptable limits for each input variable so we need to specify the limit after this determine boundary values so identify the actual boundary values and the values immediately outside the limit then create the test cases so develop the test cases based on the identified boundary values so here we have few examples for boundary value analysis first is age verification so the this the input is we need to take the user age for a service that requires users between age group 18 and 65 so what is the valid range here valid range is between 18 to 65 yes so first we need to identify the input variable so here we are taking the input where age should be between 18 and 65 and then you need to define the valid range based on the input so here the valid range is given between 18 to 65 next you need to create the test cases so here we need to identify the boundaries right so boundary values are 18 and 65 so based on this we can design the test cases like this 17 means just below the minimum minimum is 18 right so 17 becomes just below minimum 18 is the max minimum valid value so we have two valid and two invalid here so invalid is just below the minimum just above the maximum maximum is 65 so if you take 6 to 6 that is invalid if you take minimum valid minimum valid is 18 and maximum valid is 65 so these are two valid test cases two invalid test cases next you can even take survey rating input as an example so find out the input so input is user rating on a scale of 1 to 5 so if so user he want to provide some feedback so here he need he can give five star rating right so that is the input valid ranges user can provide values only between 1 to 5 so here again we need to find out invalid and valid classes so if you take the minimum valid value it becomes 1 maximum valid value is 5 if you take the boundary value invalid value that is 0 0 it represents just below minimum and invalid case if you take value near to this boundary boundary value here is 5 so if you take value 6 6 is just above the maximum and again that is invalid as the range is between 1 to 5 so next example is e-commerce platform item quantity so here input is users they can add items so we are keeping some limit on the number of items a user can add to the shopping cart so what is the limit here he can add only between 1 to 
10 not more than that or not below that so boundary is 1 to 10 right so here what will be the valid valid classes or valid valid test cases 1 is a minimum valid and 10 becomes the maximum valid and 0 it becomes the just below minimum so that is nothing but invalid value 11 11 is just above the maximum value so it is also invalid case fourth one length of a password so if you take the example as uh, input as password length for a website so what is the length criteria here it should have minimum eight characters and maximum 20 so it should be within this range only so here you can take this minimum and maximum valid uh, classes and invalid invalid cases seven is boundary right again eight is a boundary value so if you take seven it becomes just below the minimum value that is an invalid case and if you take eight characters that is a minimum valid value 20 characters maximum valid value you can even take characters between 8 to 20 say like uh, 12 14 so they are also valid values next 21 21 is just above the maximum value 20 so that is invalid we have one more example that is file upload size limit so size limit is uh, between 1 mb to 10 mb so for us file that we want to upload so how can we design the test cases here so if the value is below this one that is zero so that becomes just below minimum so it is an invalid case if it is exactly one so that is a minimum valid value if it is exactly 10 it becomes maximum valid value if it again crosses this say 11 that becomes just above maximum so it is an invalid test case 